Hello, hello. Welcome to the Knight's Arm. We are continuing uh, as playing as the Mamluks. So we just got a call to arms. Tunis is attacking Telmisen, Togurt, and Fezan, which is good. This is actually great for us because now we could probably take some of Fezan also. So let me quickly change our provinces of interest and select these over here yep that sounds good and we will accept we have to get our maintenance up and we're still making money which is great let's repay one of our loans what is our interest yeah we, we're paying a good amount of interest so let's repay this one here let's accept send them down here let's be careful for our ships um, you guys are still protecting trade we'll send you there you're over here and I guess we could send you here too why not and I don't want to use the Diplo power, so I won't select that. Alright, so let's unpause. We do have some rebel uprisings. This is in Wedi. So let's see where that is. That's over there. So let's go ahead and send some troops here also, just in case they erupt. We can purchase an ability. Let's lower on. Uh, oh no, but this allows a state edict to lower the unrest. Do we want this or do we not? Transfer subject peace tree. This one could be nice. Let's go with the unrest. I think that's going to be beneficial also. So we'll come in here as quick as possible and we'll try to siege as much as possible. We'll try to siege all of it. And not leave anything for Tunis. We have won the battle. That is great. Alright, let's hopefully watch our income. Hopefully this doesn't decrease too bad. Hijaz is increasing our um, annexation. Yeah, it's definitely varying. Are we still at minus five? Yeah, we are. They tell us about the event of the Iberian wedding. So Aragon becomes a junior partner. Uh, so Castile is starting to grow again. Yep, Castile's back in business. And we've sieged all that. Have we looted it? Yes. Let's go ahead and cancel these um, requests. We could probably vassalize someone else. Add in. Would you accept as a vassal? No. What about you? Or Moose? Yas will accept vassalization. They're allied with the Timurids, so I think vassalizing them might be beneficial. Let's go ahead and send you back. Oh, I don't want to lose the Diplo, so I'll lose the Prestige. 
So let's vassalize Yas. Royal marriage from Yas, great. They've given us one province. Are you kidding me? I should have peaced out early. Only one province they've given us. Okay, so I guess we'll just send you guys back over here. And Castile has rivaled us. Which is fine. I guess we just have to deal with it. Yas, you're close. I just need to improve relations with you just for a tad bit and then I can vassalize you. And we could invite this scholar. But I don't want to use the admin points yet. So can we send you guys back to what you were doing before? I think so. So let's send you to hunt for pirates in Aleppo. You guys could protect trade in Aleppo. And the other ones could privateer in Aleppo. Yeah, let's do that. Gain one base tax in Halab or one production? Where is Halab? I think that's near the border, right? Yep, right here. They're both the same. I'll go with the production and then it'll be less of a hit in terms of loyalty because they're at 55 and the other one's at um 50. so we'll do this one we'll gain that extra production can i enact anything yet oh the emirs are really low i'm gonna have to try to get them up i could probably summon a diet but they're only gonna gain five the town's a judge yep sure give us this and we can enact a government reform. So do we want a centralized or a decentralized? Let's do a decentralized, actually. Hmm. I think we shall do... I don't really look at my cultures, like the promoted cultures. Technically, I could promote another one. This one has a decent amount of development that I could promote. But again, it uses Diplo power and I don't want to use it. Our innovativeness, innovativeness goes down. But why is it green if it's going down? I'm not sure. So, let's go with the decentralized then we'll add the promoted cultures i guess we'll add more cultures i'm just waiting for this to get to 607 and it's increasing the more we go because this institution penalty is starting to grow and i can embrace it anytime possible sickness of sultan yikes yearly prestige and he becomes well advised all right, we'll do that. We can make you a core. And our annexation with Hijaz is almost done. Yeah, I think they could deal with this, right? Yeah, we don't need to wear ourselves in there. Put ourselves in that predicament. Let's hold off on military technology. I guess we could use some to increase our development. Uh, let's look at the value. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do some of this.
Yep, we'll do that. And wasn't there another option that I could do? I forgot where it was. Yeah, the strength in government. And we could do this also with our military power. Yep, I gotta remember to do that. All right, Hijaz is fully integrated. Great, there we go. So I believe we have an army over here now. Yeah, you guys could just come back. We don't need you guys fighting. Okay, so uh, we still have a couple of and then, yeah, we still have 20 minutes or so we can continue in this episode. Um, let's go ahead and annex, or not annex, wow. I keep getting confused between vassalizing and annex. Let's vassalize Yas. Now our Diplo power should go up at a more faster rate, getting us closer. And we also get their ships down here, which is really nice. So let's merge you, and we could probably just send all of you out to privateer in the Gulf of Aden. Maybe not all of you, maybe just the, let's split out the light ships. Yeah, there we go. Let's privateer in the Gulf of Aden. And then you guys could hunt for pirates in Alexandria. Over here, I guess. We'll see. Am I over my naval limit? I am. Yeah, I really wonder how we can get our naval limit higher. Because right now we're taking a hit. There's going to be some rebels erupting over here, so we'll just get ready. And then once we crush them, we can lower our maintenance. Let's improve relations with Dewasir. And we could probably start annexing Nezd. But we have to wait until this war is over. We're not going to help Tunis that much because, again, I don't want to embolden them or strengthen them. Especially after they've only given me one province. Like, seriously, one province? And these are all low development, extremely low development. And they won't hurt my exorcist expansion at all. So, Nash's opinion of us goes up. Great. No, thank you. No, thank you. Can they just peace out already? Yeah, the force limit in this area is pretty horrendous. 21. Yeah, let's send some of you out. Let's send this. I guess we'll send you there. And we'll leave 20 there for the rebels. Alright, they're giving us some prestige, which is nice. Oh, our proper projection is down. Let's go ahead and see if we can send an insult to somebody. There we go. Should we provoke them? Oh, I can't provoke them. Finally, we can do this one right here. Great. Alright, there's our revolts. We're still bleeding a little bit of cash. Merchant guilds request privileges. Um, yeah, let's do this because we could shift around some of the loyalty. And you guys should be increasing. 
Should I grant them another one of these? Hmm, not sure. Let's see. Okay. Should I go for uh go for this one? Yeah, let's go ahead and go for it. Rightful ownership. Okay. Of late our subjects in Hazza have seen fit to remind us of the tensions caused by us owning lands in Shushtar. Where is Shushtar? Over here. That they view as rightfully theirs. Handing it back to them would show us to be a benevolent power. However, such a move could also weaken us. Their opinion goes down and their liberty desire goes up by how much? 15%? Yeah, we could deal with it. Yeah, so let's do Palicate Rulers. Let's move towards mysticism. We still have some more rebels. And we could probably start annexing them, but we're still in the war. So let's go ahead and improve relations with Haza. I definitely want to annex Haza first before I annex anybody else. Yeah, man, we could probably go to war with you now. And weaken you a bit. I think Yemen might be our next target. Just so that Yemen doesn't ally themselves with the Ottomans. Which they tend to do later on. Should I make this into a state? Let's do it. Uh oh. Hopefully we don't go take out another loan. So there's some that are gonna erupt at Shishar, so we'll go ahead and send them over there. This is fine. Alright, let's do sale of the titles. This will lower it down to twenty-nine. Hmm. We probably can do another development increase so that we can get some extra crownland and make it 40%. Okay, let's um Let's do this. Is it now going to be at 40%? Yes. So now I can do the sale of the titles. There we go. And we could pay back, I guess, both of our loans now. There we go. No more interest. Let's mothball our forts. And we could even increase our maintenance just so we could fight some of these rebels that are going to erupt anytime soon. Call for peace. Yep, it's getting there. Where is our war exhaustion? It is going up, but not by much. Alright, so the war is over. They was 15, 13 favors. Great. And I guess we'll get a, just a small bit of prestige. One prestige, yeah, that's nothing. Where is the revolt? Oh, it's over here. And it looks like Haz is going to help our ally. Or help another one of our subjects. They're not, so we're going to have to send some manually to go in there.
Okay. How's that still taking a bit of time to increase? How much is this going up by? We can increase it by 94, 106 more. And it's going to take five years to do it. Yeah, I think our Diplo relations is pretty abysmal. We'll lose a little bit of cash. That's fine. We could probably annex somebody else while we're at it, right? While we're waiting for this to go out. What country is this? This is Doasir, right? Yeah, so we'll get you out of there. Let's give them a leader. Should we annex Doasir or Nesht? Hmm. Let's annex Nesht because I think it'll take quicker. It'll be a lot quicker. Let's see. Yeah, so it's going to go by 2% every month, I guess. Who knows? We could probably do both at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I can do both at the same time. All power costs go down. Sure. And I still need to get my Diplo technology back up. Urbanization. Sure, we're getting all those base taxes. Yeah, that should pay for itself. And we need to save up some cash so that we can embrace the institution. Fire in Medina. Do we need the legitimacy? Yeah, we already have a lot, so let's do this one. And it looks like they're not revolting yet, but they should anytime soon. I'm going to turn this into a state. We'll see what that does. Maybe I can course. Yeah, I could definitely core you guys now. That's still not you guys. Can I provoke them? 11 regiments? Sure, why not? Let me just provoke them so I can then lower my maintenance. Bardia. Tax or trade? What's the tax situation here? Pretty high, so I think tax might be nice, but also tr let's do trade power. Okay. Mysticism all the way. Independence for Shamar. The pilgrims are safe. Give us that prestige. Thank you. Yemen is improving Ottoman's opinion of them. Yeah, we got to be careful. There. Ajuran is down here. Hormuz is over there. What is Hormuz's army? 10,000? Yemen has only 8,000. We could start getting uh, prepared for Yemen. Because that's definitely our next target. We can send you guys down there. How about we get some men out of here and send them here just in case we have a revolt. And there's a low supply limit so we're going to have to split you guys up.
The city of Cairo. Yeah, I do remember this event. Let us renovate the socks and the Khan El Khalili. So these are the markets which give us trade value and goods produced. Development cost goes down. Technology cost goes down. Construction and defense. Let's do the va uh, trade value and goods. I think that'll be nice there. Do we have a claim on their lands? I think the only way for me to check is to declare war and see if anything pops up. Okay, we have another revolt up there. I think they got it. I don't know if we should do the counter espionage by the Ottomans. Because they already have claims against my lands. Yeah, they already have um, Antakya over here. Yeah, and they have Urfa. And they also have Dayar al Bakr. Is there any way to remove their core? It expires in 25 years, 91. This one, exp oh, they have a permanent claim on these, so there's nothing I could do there. I could definitely change some cultures too. I, I wasn't even factoring that in. So we have Kurdish cultures up here. And it's not an accepted culture. And these use Diplo. Yeah, but we need Diplo points for technology. If we were ahead, maybe we could. So let's stop the counter espionage there. Let's see if we have claims on their lands. We do. We have a conquest. I mean, technically we could do it. Let's see what provinces we need again. We need Senna and Eden, but I mean, we could slowly eat up some other lands and then we can uh, probably in a third, uh, a second war, excuse me, we could capture these two, but it'll be nice to get closer to them. Should we declare war? Um, sure, let's get Bisheha over here. Or should we just put it on Senate? Yeah, I kind of want to get Santa, so we'll do that. We'll probably, even if we just get these three provinces, that'll be nice. So as long as we have a clear access to it. Um, should we confirm? Should we go to war? Hopefully the Ottomans are, are busy. Okay, so I guess next episode we'll declare war on them. And we'll see what happens there, hopefully. The Ottomans don't declare war on us, um, so we'll see how that goes. So, as always, guys, stay safe.